Hello, my dear friends, and welcome. How are you? This is Tarot Prediction, weekly Tarot Prediction for Zodiac Sign Capricorn for women and for men. For new upcoming week, December 17th until 23rd of December 2018. My dear friends, you can see already the very first Tarot spread waiting in front of my camera. So, let me talk first about work department or like you know overall energies and then i will put another spread in front of my camera for your love life for single capricorns and for attached capricorns as well so let's try to see together what you can expect in the next seven days okay let's get started the very first tarot card for your work department is material harvest guys food and money and house and security and stability you are very generous but also i can see guys you are humble you are generous you are modest and you are secure and above all you are grateful so basically what we can see on this tarot card, we can see a man, but of course could be a woman as well, uh, with lots of, you know, uh, you know, things, items, food and money. And, you know, so obviously, you know, you're, um, you don't have a problem with, with your job as far as I can see. You are very, very, uh, you know, grateful for what you have. And basically, guys, the secret like a spiritual secret if you are lacking of anything at all before you even ask god give me you know what i need whatever you need first become very grateful very very grateful for what you have and obviously you are so this is a capricorn man or woman you know uh, saying a uh, grace you can see a man with a close you know eyes so obviously you are spiritually evolved and basically you are grateful for what you have already because of this humble attitude and because of this um, you know um being you know so grateful you can expect even more material harvest in your life let me see what next is hiding in your spread two of swords time out okay for some of you, maybe your current job situation is a little bit, you know, unclear. Maybe this is you praying to the God, you know, and asking the God, God, please, you know, help me, uh, you know, because, you know, I need more or I need, you know, something different, whatever it is. So these two sorts basically saying time out, some situation in your life, maybe ask for more time. This is exactly what I see. So before you do or change your step, or attitude or your wish you know uh, take a step back and see maybe already you have basically what you want maybe you really already possess everything that you need think a little bit about that and also some of you are in the front of in a couple of weeks or months probably you need to change your strategy but now is not the time to change anything at all be modest be grateful for what you have now in two months you will have another opportunity if you want to change anything at all wow unconditional love guys maybe who knows maybe you will fall in love with your colleague or maybe your colleague will fall in love with you because i can see you bonding spiritually and emotionally and mentally you know with someone who is like very close in a physical sense to you so this really could be your colleague but this is a uh, work terror reading so maybe you want to change your job maybe finally you are ready to start you know working uh you know uh in any kind of niche or any kind of new job that you really really trust into you know trust to so maybe now anyway for whatever reason might be is not the time but time will come oh the sun obviously guys you are heading towards your biggest success because you believe 
uh, that you are on the right track because you believe in you. And also I have a feeling there is a uh, lot of people who will ask you, uh, help me, give me, advise me, say something now, or help me to find a job. Maybe you can, maybe you can find other, maybe you can help other people to find a job. Maybe other people are curious, you know, how come that you are, you know, so successful, no? And how come that you are always content, you know, no, no matter how, uh, how, how many or how much money you have, or maybe you don't, but kind of, you are happy, you are all really happy. So people want to know, you know, what is the truth, you know, not the truth, but what is like the magic that you possess inside of you. But the final tarot card always talks about big success. Enjoy in your health because your health is wealth as well. Okay, now let me say something about your love upcoming new week. Okay, guys, please give me a couple of seconds because I need to reshuffle my deck. Okay, stay tuned. Don't move. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Okay. So, love tarot prediction for new upcoming week, for single and for attached Capricorns. Okay, so let me see what you can expect. I will reshuffle my deck and then I will pull one tarot card after another and that's it. Okay, enough of shuffling. The very first tarot card is patience and planning. Well, if you're single, maybe you need to be very patient. But if you're already attached, guys, this is serious tarot card. This could be planning for your wedding, you know. So if you're already in a long-term relationship, obviously, this is you planning something, you know, trying to find a hotel or any kind of restaurant, which could be like a good for your wedding day. This also could be asking your family members, you know, could you lend me you know, some money because I want to organize uh, this also could be like a surprise uh, from your fiancé or maybe this person is not your fiancé just yet but maybe will become. Whatever it is, uh, you need to be patient and of course this is you asking for your current partner. Please be patient, you know, with me because maybe now is not the time but I am planning, I am thinking, you know, I am gonna let, I will never let you down. Okay, so let me see what else I can see. Ouch! Three of Swords. Wow, so this is Libra, Gemini, on Aquarian in a pain because of you. So this also could be someone uh, who have like, someone who have, you know, some plans, uh, you know, because of you, with you, this person is afraid to call you, but this person might call you in this week or in the next three weeks from now, because, you know, someone is in a pain because of you, obviously. There is someone who have had big plans, you know, with you, but who know, you know, what happened. So this, this uh, love story failed down. So guys, I don't think that you have planned with your ex, but I think that your ex have some plans with you. The next tarot card is Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune, which is Destiny tarot card. Okay, uh, Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune basically is saying, do not lose your faith never ever never ever because another opportunity is coming i don't know guys maybe you want to go back maybe this is you planning how to get your ex back with major card of the wheel of fortune obviously you will get a chance but also this tarot card always talks about new option so if you do not want to go back then honey don't go back simply you know make a plans with someone new, but I still think that this is your ex planning how to get you back. The very next tarot card is Major Arcana, the Fool, and you don't like foolish people. You really, really, really don't like foolish people, you know, and maybe you already said that, you know, to someone, honey, you are foolish, you know, you do not deserve my time, you do not deserve me, because, you know, you are so unpredictable capricorn people do not like unpredictable unpredictable people capricorn people like predictable you know people but with major kind of fool you know you don't like you know people taking you for a granted you don't like that so i think uh, there was like uh, i don't know 
three days ago, three months ago, three years ago, or, you know, whatever, no? But this is someone, someone who is very, you know, reckless. This is someone who is like um, carefree, aimless, you know, person. And you help to this person so many times and kind of never you've got a plain thank you from this person. And obviously you want to move from this person. Also on the other level, a major kind of the fool simply is saying have trust. Simply have trust trust uh in what i don't know uh you know uh, could be meeting someone new could be starting a relationship with someone who is much more younger than you and basically then you will have opportunity to shape this person basically the way how you want to shape this person you know guys what i'm talking you know so some people are mature some people are very very immature also major kind of fool is saying that, that you are exhausted from this bad, you know, any kind of, you know, events. And, you know, this also could be you traveling. Maybe this is you saying, you know, I want to meet someone completely out of the blue. I do not want to plan. I have nobody, you know, to plan about, you know, my life. So major kind of the fool, uh, the, the fool basically is saying, then don't. Simply believe, you know, that God will send on your path exactly what you need. But, honey... What you need? Aha. Uh -huh. The final tarot card is Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, man or woman. Everything depends on your gender. So, this is you finally being in love. Probably your current or future partner is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Because this person possess all kind of traits and virtues that you need. This person will never stood you up. This is someone who is like, you know, very, very family oriented woman or man. Depends, of course, on your gender. You need someone who will be generous. You don't need anybody who will be manipulative, you know, towards you. Now you want to have a rest. And this is exactly what I can see emotional rest when you can breathe when you can be relaxed next to someone you know who is fully devoted to you and this is uh, the most important word that you want to hear I am devoted completely to you my Capricorn so you can count that this person, if you're still single, will pop up in your life completely out of the blue. Guys, well, at least you expect. So probably you can't plan because you do not know this person just yet. But I can tell you this very second, this is about love and devotion. Exactly what you need to hear. Guys! This is it. Of course, general reading. But if you want to hear your story, do not hesitate. Call me and book a private reading with me. Please make sure to subscribe on my channel. Like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all. Bye.